what I want to show you now is how easily we can select our DC power supply, 24 volt power supply. And if you need a UPS system for it, then all the options are right here. If I select here, power supply, I can filter everything out. If I want a single phase or a three phase option, and I can reset everything. There's options for also Profinet. So if I want Profinet on my power supply, I have an option for that also. I can limit my output voltage here. So I'll select 24 volt. So it only shows me 24 volt. I have different options of up to how many amperage out I want. So that's the current. I'm going to leave it blank. Uh, I can go here and select by categories. So here's my compact power supply family different options here is my logo power supply here is my light power supply here's PSU 6200 this is a brand new product it's pretty cool uh, 8200 it goes up to 40 amps and it has protective coating for higher temperature side up smart it's more stabilized 8600 like we saw it has options for profinet there's some special design options which is looks like different PLC cards IP67 version and then we also have DC to DC power supply options. So let's go ahead and select single phase AC, DIN rail mount. We want it to be, oops, seems like I selected something else. Oh, DC to DC converter. I'm going to select all devices. Uh, let's say we want a 10 amp power supply and we need it to be UL. So here's all my options for a 10 amp power supply. I can just select this first option and that's good i can go to accessories and then if we need redundant power supply we can say yes we want a redundant power supply and then it will add this redundancy input module which is this i'm going to select no for now let's go ahead and do selectivity module which is pretty cool is what it does is from your power supply it you feed the power supply 24 volt dc to the selectivity module and it splits into four different channels and then what each channel does is it's like a circuit breaker for its individual channel and there is a little knob on each channel so you can set up to 3 amps so if anything triggers there is a reset button for it if you want to reset it or turn off a channel so let's say if you want to power cycle the PLC you can just click reset on it if it pulls more current or there is short circuit protection it trips individual channel and then there is a monitoring signal that tells us that something is wrong and then here is the power supply and here is the selectivity module let's go ahead and add new device i'm going to do power supply and this time i'm going to do ups system so this is also nice i'm going to select the side up selective selection tool so it looks for an online tool but it's built in so i don't have to go look for search for it on the web web uh, sorry it's too small let's zoom in a little bit so What's my nominal current? We selected a 10 amp power supply. With the buffer time, I'm going to select maximum hours. It says 5 hours 37 minutes. So I'm going to put 5 hours. Minimum voltage buffer. I need it to be 22. I'm going to select 25C. Interface. I can just say USB. So here's my option. Here is my 10 amp power supply uh, module for the 10 amp power supply. And here is 6 batteries. So if I select this, I will have a buffer time of 5 hours 23 minutes, takes reload of 21 hours, and then here at 20C for 4 years. IP5020 rated up to 50C, and then this one is rated up to 70C. So here is my UPS system, proceed. So it added the UPS system to it. So if I go look at my article list, here was my HMI, here is my UPS system, and here is my power supply. Thank you.